Everybody comes into Wilmore, they see our friend Francis Asbury sitting up on his horse. There's a huge turmoil at when the statue was first being put up. The seminary didn't want the rear end pointing it at, the university didn't want the rear end. Finally, the sculpture said, as far as I know about Asbury, he was always about taking the word out to the world. So he pointed him going out of town. Uh, Francis Asbury is one of my heroes, so I love talking about him. When he was 26 years old, John Wesley was looking for some people to bring the gospel message to the Americas. Francis Asbury said, I'll come, I'll go, and he never went back. He was here at the start of the Revolutionary War, uh, and a lot of other people were going back, understandably, from England. But Asbury said, this is where God's called me, this is where I'm staying. And for that, he became the bishop, the first bishop of the United Methodist Church. The funny thing was, even though he traveled over 60,000 miles on horseback and preached over 20,000 sermons, he wasn't a very good speaker. He wasn't a very good preacher. What people drew to Jesus from Asbury was his total commitment. They called him the prophet of the long road. It was his zeal for God that drew people to Jesus. How amazing is that? What an example to follow. He was sick all the time, but he wouldn't get off the horse. Who's willing to follow Francis Asbury today?